Hello everyone. Now we are going to discuss about types of disasters. Unit 1 Introduction to Disaster. The subject is Disaster Management. This unit objective is to provide student an exposure to disasters, their significance and types. Outcome is we will able to differentiate the types of disasters, causes and their impact on environment and society. So, disaster. What is disaster? A disaster is a sudden calamitous event that seriously disrupts the functioning of a community or society and causes human material and economic or environmental losses that exceeds the communities or society able to cope using its own resources. Through often caused by nature, disaster can have human origins. So, here what does disaster stand for? Disaster. D is detection, incident command, safety and security, assess assaults, support, triage and treatment, evacuation and recovery. So, some types of disasters are there. Disasters are two types. One is natural disaster. Second one is man-made disaster. So, a natural disaster is a major adverse event resulting from natural processes of the earth. Example are floods, hurricane, torrentos, volcanic eruption, earthquake, tsunamis, storms and other geographical processes. A natural disaster can cause loss of life or damage properties and typically leaves some economic damage in its beak, the severity of which depends on the affected population's ability to recover and also on the infrastructure availability. So, first we will discuss about earthquake. An earthquake is a shaking of the ground caused by the sudden breaking and movement of tectonic plates on the earth's rocky outermost crust. The edges of the tectonic plates are marked by faults. Most earthquakes occur along the fault lines when the plates slide past each other or colliding against each other. The shifting masses send out shock waves that may be powerful enough to alter the surface of the earth. Trusting up clips and opening great cracks in the ground and causes great damage. And also collapse of buildings and other man-made structure, broken power and gas lines landslides, snow avalanches and it makes tsunamis also. So, next one is volcanic eruption. Volcanics can cause widespread destruction and consequent disaster in several ways. The effect include the volcanic eruption itself that may cause harm following the explosion of the volcano or the fall of rock. Lava may be produced during the eruption of a volcano. As it leaves the volcano, the lava destroy many buildings and plants in encounters. Third, volcano causes may form a cloud and it settle Thicky in nearby locations like villages. In sufficient quantity, ash may cause roof to collapse under a weight, but even small quantities will harm human in hind handled. A specific type of volcano is the super volcano. The main danger from a super volcano is the immense 
could of ash which as a destroyed global effect on climate and temperature for a many years so next we all know cyclones is very dangerous for coastline people cyclone in meteorology refers to any low pressure area with wind inward cyclone routes clockwise in the southern hemisphere and anti clockwise in the northern hemisphere cyclone is the general term for a variety of low pressure system types such as tropical cyclone extra tropical cyclones and tornadoes the largest of the low pressure system are the extra tropical cyclone and cold core polar cyclone which lies on the synoptic scale which is meteorology is a horizontal length of 1000 km or more the cyclones are also referred to as hurricanes and super hurricanes they consist of the eye eye wall and rain bands the part of a cyclone is its eye which is at the middle of a cyclone next one is flood flood is an overflow of an expansion expanse of water that submerge land the floods defective defines a flood as a temporary covering by water of land not normally covered by water in the sense of flowing water the word may also be applied to the inflow of the tide flooding may result from the volume of water within a body of water such as a river or lake which overflows or break leaves with the result that some of the water escapes its usual boundaries while the size of a lake or other bodies of water will vary with seasonal changes in precipitation and snow melt it is not a significant flood unless the water covers land used by man like a village city or other inhabited area road expansion of farm lands so we know how the drought is affected to our human environmental drought occurs in virtual all climates of all the weather related phenomena that can cause severe economic impact in the country drought comes in second only to hurricane according to the national climatic data center but unlike hurricane which are easily identified and straight forward to classify in terms of wind speed drought are much so to define most people think of a drought as a period of unusually dry weather what persist long enough to cause problems such as crop damage and water supply shortages next torrentos a torrento is an violent rotating column of air extending from a thunderstorm to the ground the most violent torrentos are capable of tremendous destruction with wind speed of up to 300 meter per hour they can destroy large buildings uproot trees and it damage vehicles they can also drive straw into trees damage path can be in excess of 1 mile wide to 50 mile long in an average year 1000 torrentos are reported national wide 
most torontos form from thunder storms next one is tsunami a tsunami is a series of water waves caused by displacement of a large volume of a body of water generally an ocean or a large lake earthquake volcanic eruption and other underwater explosion landslides glaciers calving these are all the impacts and other disturbances above or below water all the potential to generate a tsunami tsunami waves do not resemble normal sea waves because their wavelength is far longer rather than appearing as a breaking wave a tsunami may instead initially resemble a rapidly ringing tide Sun- tsunamis generally consist of a series of waves with period ranging from minutes to hours arriving in a so called wave trains wave height of tens of meter can be generated by large event although the impact of tsunamis is limited to coastal areas their destructive power can be enormous and they can affect entire ocean basin as we know the 2004 indian ocean tsunami was among the deadliest natural disaster in human history with at least 2 lakhs 90000 people killed or missed in 14 countries bordering the indian ocean so here some causes of natural disasters the causes of natural disasters are many human activity play a role in the frequently and severity of disaster a natural disaster is a disruption in the balance of the environment the human factor raises the cost in both property damage and loss of life understanding the causes of natural disaster can provide clue to the prevention not all natural disaster can be prevented each natural disaster has its own factors and complications disaster understanding the basic principle of ecology can provide key to listening their effect natural evolved with natural disaster and disturbance and finally the best prevention is looking at the strategies found in nature so next the main part is man made disaster a man made disaster is a disaster resulting from human intent negligence or human error man made disaster can be both intentional and unintentional it result in huge loss of life and property it further affects a person's mental physical and social well being so here there are uh, some reason for man made disaster the causes of man made disaster are ignorance 52% unawareness 20% illiteracy 40% carelessness 42% for example of man made disasters man made disaster can be followed nuclear disaster chemical disaster radiological emergencies and terrorism so first we'll discuss about nuclear accident one should not look at the fire as it cause instant blindness close all doors and windows as radioactivity does not penetrate into solid structure cover all food and water so next chemical disaster so here 
what we going to do is we do not panic first evacuate calmly and quickly perpendicular to wind direction through the designated escape route we need to keep a wet handkerchief or piece of cloth on face during evacuation and we do not consume the uncovered food or water open to the air drink only for bottle waters and to provide correct and accurate information to the government officials to inform others on occurrence of event at public gathering places we do not pay attention to the rumors and don't spread rumors so next is radiological emergencies so here we take cover ourselves keep our conditions till the flash hot air and flying and falling debris be aware of intense flashlight coming from the explosion of a nuclear weapon then head urgently for the nearest shelter without panic we have 30 to 60 minutes before we reach the shelter protect our mouth and nose with cloths we must wash our hands face air and other uncovered part of our body and finally we take the necessary equipment with us and enter the shelter next is the main issue terrorism so it's the use of fear and act of violent in order to intimidate societies or government many different type of social or political organization might use terrorism to try to achieve their goals people who do terrorism are called terrorist so next one is effect of diseases disaster the disaster diseases has only caused loss of life and property the animal face the threat of extinction good yield land turns into a waste land human suffers for severe alignment everywhere there is a health problem like malaria coronavirus and so on so so hope we got some knowledge about some types of disasters man made and natural disaster thank you